Hi, I'm Astrid. Uh, I'm an assistant professor here at the FU University Medical Center. Um, we do research here on infectious diseases and uh, for that we use the ZebraFish as a model system. So our role in the Smart Mix project is to study uh, tuberculosis and to find uh, bacterial mutants that cannot make the zebrafish ill anymore. So how does this screen work? We use a zebrafish uh, and a microtear marinum, which is the counterpart of tuberculosis. Uh, and marinum makes the fish ill. It consists of about 5,000 genes, which encode proteins. And we want to find the genes that are important for the virulence of the bacteria. For that, we uh, knock out the uh, different genes one by one. So we have a library of 5,000 different mutant bacteria. Those bacteria we put one for one in the zebrafish embryos and look if they are able to make the zebrafish ill or not. The ones that make the fish ill are brightly fluorescent red and the ones that are unable to make the fish ill show no fluorescence. In that way you can determine what genes are important for virulence. Having determined that, you can go back and actually look at the gene that causes uh, the attenuation of the bacteria. And then you can decide, can we make a, or design a compound against this function of this gene? And then we can use that compound to uh, treat a fish which is ill due to the real bacteria, the wild type bacteria, and see if that compound has a similar effect on infection. So if you can actually make the fish better. In that way we can find interesting new compounds to treat human disease in the end. So why do we use zebrafish? The disease in zebrafish is similar as in humans. They both develop granulomas. The advantage of the zebrafish is that you can see through the zebrafish. They are transparent, so you can actually see the granulomas form. Because uh, zebrafish female lay loads of eggs, we have loads of embryos and we can test in a relatively fast system many mutants. Therefore it takes only about two years to screen the thousand mutants. If you want to use mice for that, it will probably take 15 years before you can do such a screen. So now we have proven the efficacy of the zebrafish as a screening model and a European consortium is investigating the possibilities of using the zebrafish as a pre-screening for human trials so that only the compounds with great potential in this pre-screen can enter or will enter the expensive human trials.